Hello everybody, and we have something really interesting to look at today. It's a Geiger counter, or a dosimeter to be exact, and this was sent to me by Ziggy Jinx. So a really big thank you to him, because um, I don't often get sent free things on this channel. So what I'm going to do is, in the description, there's going to be a link to both his Facebook and his YouTube page. He does metal detecting, so I think a lot of people here might find that quite interesting. And he asked me, could I do a review of a Geiger counter he got sent, because um, I might know a bit more about them than him. So I might be able to give you a bit more input on them. And before I go any further, I will say, although I find Geiger counters really interesting, I don't know all the scientific terms for everything on them. So you have to forgive me for that, where I say micro sievent or however it's pronounced, I might pronounce that wrong, or millisievent, all that sort of stuff. And I can understand in sort of detail how the theory works behind all the Geiger stuff, but not how it all works scientifically to a massive degree, if that makes sense. So I'm assuming this is pronounced SOX, so it's SOX dosimeter. Now, the difference between a dosimeter and a Geiger counter is, typically a dosimeter is a Geiger counter, but it measures a cumulative dose. So how much radiation you've been exposed to in a total period. Whereas a standard Geiger counter basically measures the amount of radiation when you're measuring it. And then it resets to zero when you're not measuring radiation. So dosimeters tend to be used by people in like nuclear facilities and things like that. Where they need to have a safe dose of radiation during the day. So there's limits to how much they're exposed to. So what a dosimeter does is it basically shows you radiation exposure. So it's constantly counting the radiation you're exposed to and totaling it up. And then you can set your dosimeter to give, off, to give off an alarm. And then that alarm will warn you once you've hit your safe daily dose and you need to get out of there. That's obviously used to be preventative measures so you're not exposed to too much radiation. And then risk you know, developing higher chances of developing cancers and things like that. So I'm not sure if this um, reads alpha radiation but it certainly reads beta and gamma. And what I'm going to do is we're going to do some tests with it, and then I'm going to show you size-wise how much more practical a little thing like this is compared to my giant old sort of communist monstrosity Geiger counters I've got from the Cold War. So, what you get in the box is obviously the Geiger dosimeter that's there, a charging USB cable. The nice thing of this is you can either use um, disposable AAA batteries or rechargeable AAA batteries. You get a little plug thing for it. Um, obviously this is in a European type plug output so you might want to get yourself an adapter for it but most people like me would just plug this directly into their computer all into a wall socket for their apparent nation and then you've got it and there's also an instruction manual now unfortunately he lost the instruction manual but he has given me an online one so what I'm going to do is also put that in the description so if you're interested in it you can have a look at that but most of it's straightforward so without more talking about it, let's zoom straight into the Geiger sort of dosimeter and then we'll have a look at it. Right, hopefully that's clearly in frame for you. So you hold this button down to turn it on. And it will just take a moment to turn on. And what it will do once it turns on is work out what the background dose is of where you are. So that's what it's doing now, where it's saying wait, it's sort of reading the room radiation so it knows what you're working with as a sort of general level. Because what you'll see in a moment is when we expose it to a radioactive source and it will start going crazy because it knows that's not the sort of you know background level of radiation you're normally exposed to. So what we've got here is that's where it's constantly scanning for radiation. That's the sort of current dose we've got there. And you see it's got a little arrow there saying it's go up. Where it says the USV that's micro sievents I believe. Uh, as I said that's background radiation there. You've got a little speaker symbol there. I'll try and get that a bit better in frame for you. A little speaker symbol there. What that's saying is that the sound's on. Where you've got these empty brackets there, that's your total dose. Um, so basically, as that gets further to the end, it goes from green to red. And when it gets to red, it's saying you should be getting out of there. You set the alarm at what you want to do in the settings. So if you're going to be exposed to more radiation, you probably set the alarm to a higher amount so it doesn't go off as quickly. That's where it's showing the current amount of radiation for the last 30 seconds or so. And then at the end is the battery symbol. I've given this a quick charge, it's probably not fully charged, but um, there we go. So where it says normal there, that's where it's saying we're exposed at the moment to a normal amount of background radiation. So let's start testing it against stuff. First we've got some uranium glass. 
and uranium glass is basically a bit of uranium sort of glazed almost into glass so what we're going to do is lift the detector up and put it over the uranium glass and uranium glass isn't crazily radioactive so I should get a slightly higher reading than normal but nothing sort of insane sometimes you have to get the detector quite close to it Yeah. so as you can see it's clicking off a bit more than normal but not loads because um, uranium glass is fairly safe it's not an ideal Geiger check source because it's so low, but what you can see there is that the dose has gone up a bit, so it knows that's higher than background radiation, but it's nothing really very scary. So let's move on to something a bit <clears throat> more sinister. And what we have here is something called Fiesta Wear, if I can get it in frame. And you can also already almost hear the Geiger ticking up a bit. Now, Fiesta Wear <clears throat> was... I think it was the 1920s or 30s, the Americans thought it would be a really good idea to make pottery that you'd eat off of, so like dinner plates, cups and everything like that, out of um, uranium. Basically they made uranium paint, uranium pottery. Um, and we now obviously know that's a really stupid idea, because if you're eating off of a, basically a radioactive surface, you're ingesting radiation. So what we're going to do is lift this up, put the Fiesta Ware underneath. Oh dear. And you can see now that the dose is massively going up, um, what you're being exposed to. As far as I'm aware, this is mostly beta radiation with a bit of gamma coming off, but nearly all beta radiation from this. And you see it's now said dangerous, because this is basically a dangerous amount of radiation you're being exposed to. If you were next to Fiesta Ware all day, you would probably develop some sort of horrible cancer from it. You certainly wouldn't want to be eating your food off of it, which was a big, you know, historical mistake. So, obviously it keeps ticking over, and the dose you're being exposed to is getting higher and higher. And you can see where it's got the past sort of time period section that it's obviously a much higher dose of radio radiation, radioactive sort of exposure. There's also a secondary mode on this, if I go into the menu, which is searching, which I guess works more like a classic Geiger counter, where it's more just your current dose <clears throat> only that's coming in not, you know, like the accumulative dose. So if you wanted to use it more like an original Geiger counter, you could do that, but either function works fine as a Geiger, because it's showing you exactly what you'd expect from a Geiger counter. And as you can see, it's doing the warning beeps, because you shouldn't be exposed to this much radiation normally. So we'll go back onto the measuring screen. As you can see, that's going up and up. Dangerous. It's ticking away. And one of the things I do like about this is it's got the classic sort of ticking noise that Geiger counters are meant to make because that's one of the things that would annoy me if I had a Geiger counter and it was a modern one and it didn't tick away. I wouldn't be very impressed, but it does the classic good old tick of a Geiger counter. And um, yeah, as you can see, the dose is going higher and higher and higher. Now, as I said, I don't think this shows alpha radiation unless you have to be... Um, what I'll show you there is you can see it's now saying the dose is going down because we've removed the Fiesta wear from next to it. So I don't know if this does show alpha radiation. If it does, it might be the exposure holes quite small. Because with alpha radiation, you generally only have a little gap that you can get the um, window through because how easily alpha radiation is blocked. Alpha radiation can be blocked by a sheet of paper. Because what I have here is a old watch dial that's got radium paint on it and radium paint was really dangerous. Uh, people who painted these watch dials often had horrible cancers afterwards. We no longer thankfully use it. But I want to see if I can get a reading off of it. So I'll just get that out. Now you have to be really careful because if dust comes off of this and you inhale the dust, that can give you lung cancer. So what I'm going to do is put this on here and see if it can read it. Oh, yeah. Yes it can. Just about. Because it's gone to dangerous again. Now it's got that upwards arrow, but it might be how much it can read off that dial because it's so old is actually, sorry I'll try and get that a bit better in frame. It might be because that dial's old, although the half-life of the radiation is probably quite high, it might be some of the paints chipped off over time so you're not getting the full extent. But regardless, you know, you don't want that stuff to be anywhere near you really, and obviously historically they did make lots of mistakes with how they didn't really realise radiation exposure in high levels could be dangerous. So there we go. It's ticking away. So obviously, 
as I said, this is an entire thing from an accumulative dose. So you'd have this in your pocket or something when you were working somewhere or exposed to radiation. And then as time goes on, you can keep checking on it and see how your dose is going up. And then you've got your alarm that will sound once you get to the warning. So it now says high rather than dangerous. But because we're not next to anything radioactive, that's sinking down lower. If I put it back on there, can I get a reading off of it again? A bit of one, but nothing brilliant. As I said, it's this Fiesta wear that really sets it off. And as you can see again, that's just going crazy because the Fiesta wear is underneath it. So you really don't want to be exposed to that stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a size comparison between a modern one of these and an old retro Geiger counter which are absolutely massive. So it should give you some idea of how practically and sort of small they've made Geigers now rather than the giant things they used to be. Now this should hopefully give you a size comparison of an old retro Geiger counter with a modern one. As you can see this is a big box unit, weighs a couple of kilos, takes big D batteries, you've got your um, screen there. And obviously there's this thing in comparison. If I put it on top, you can see that pretty much the size of just the screen on the old Geiger counter is the size of that. If you wanted to take a reading of this one, you just push the um, grate on this against whatever you wanted to read or just hold it in the air like that. With this thing, <clears throat> you'd have to get the entire wand. Open it to get the beta sort of alpha shield up. Now I'm pretty sure this only reads beta and not alpha radiation. And then, <clears throat> if I move the modern one out of the way, so you can see the screen, I'd, I'll just zoom in on the screen for it, I'd put the Fiesta wear on the probe, and hopefully we'll get a reading. I don't think that's actually going to get a reading. Nope, <clears throat> I'm not managing to get a reading off of this, but maybe that will demonstrate to you how much more practical a modern thing is than one of these big old, sort of, you know, retro ones, the big ones and everything. With one of these, you simply just hold it there. If I can get that in frame, I'm <clears throat> doing this really poorly, excuse me. You just hold it there, expose it to your radiation source, away it goes. So in terms of practicality, <clears throat> obviously this wins hands down over a big old retro Geiger counter like that because it's a lot smaller, a lot lighter and it seems to be more sensitive to what you want to actually expose it to. And just to give you another example of why a modern one's a lot more practical here's an old radiation alarm from communist Poland an absolutely gigantic thing, weighs again probably a couple of kilos takes 4D batteries to work and you don't get any sort of readout on it, you flick it on, that's the test alarm. And then you have it where you can set it to each of your settings, and again, when it's exposed to a certain amount of radiation, it sounds the alarm. Something of this size is far, far more practical for actually doing all the same things and more. So I think that says to you about the sort of superiority of modern sort of digital readout Geiger counters compared to these old big clunky radiation systems that used to exist. Now while that's in frame I'll just show you some of the features on this. So if you press this button it goes to the menu. So this is where you go between measuring and searching mode as I showed you earlier. You can look at your dose so far while it's been on. So you can see it says there uh, 1.85 microsieverts and that's been on I think that's 6 hours 21 minutes in total. Then you can go into settings and change them the options, I won't bother doing that here. And it goes back up to the top, but it's where you can just configure all the volumes of it, you know, like battery saving stuff, screen brightness, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, this so X little dosimeter Geiger counter thing is really practical. As I said, compared to the big old retro sort of Geiger Muller counters of the past, which people are kind of more familiar with from science fiction, something like this is just really, really practical you both get your accumulative dose of being um, exposed to radiation and you get the current reading of how much radiation something's given off 
and I imagine a digital thing like this as I showed you the big Geiger counter is a lot more sensitive it works you know a lot better so just to show you the box again I mean I've got the box all open but there you go so the SOX if that's in frame now I need to zoom out there we go so the SOX 01M sort of dosimeter Geiger counter it's very practical it certainly does its job it reads the radiation and as I said I think it does do alpha radiation but obviously alpha is quite sensitive because you've only got a tiny little window like with most Geigers to read it properly because alpha radiation obviously is blocked by paper but it will certainly read beta and gamma radiation no problem and as I said it definitely works because put on the Fiesta wear it will start ticking crazily like it should do high and it will go to dangerous in a second so there you go the Soex um, Geiger dosimeter definitely works a very big thank you to Ziggy Jinx for sending it me for free um, as said there will be links to his YouTube channel and Facebook in the description below so please look at his channel because he did send me this for free and you might find his metal detecting stuff really interesting and I'm hopefully going to get some more videos done with this thing because it should be really practical because often, you know, where I do videos on gas masks people are quite interested in Geiger counters and radiation so stay tuned for those and a big, big thank you to Ziggy Chinks for sending me this because I was not expecting anybody to send me a free, very practical, useful Geiger counter dosimeter so a big, big thank you to him